guys. Good morning. Lofty Loomer here. It's pretty in the early in the morning where I am. It's uh, not even 5 a.m. Um, but I couldn't sleep. So I went ahead and um, this is from my front yard. Um, it's pretty old. It's one of those standard, you know, green metal. You see them everywhere. Um, but I picked it up out of the garbage I don't know, a few years back, and I just set it in my yard. It was cute, right? Like, I put a plant on it every year. But it's getting older now, so I'm going to refurbish it, you know, repaint it. Um, I, I'm a horrible painter, but my husband bought me these new uh, acrylic paint pens, and I'm hoping I can put some detail on the corners here um, where the... Where the um, where the flowers are. Can you see that? There's flowers right here, like on the side. And then there's leaves that go up. And I'm hoping with the paint pens, maybe I can make that look nicer because I'm not very good at that. So that's what we're gonna do. Obviously, I've already started it. Um, I'm going to be using, um, Rustoleum satin ivory silk. Okay. Rustoleum. Okay. This is my favorite, obviously. It's the two time ultra cover paint and primer. It's only going to be the one color. I didn't feel you needed to watch me spray it twice. Um, it does have its second coat, but only on the bottom. The top has not even been started yet. Um, so it's still in its original color here. Excuse me, sorry. I don't want to be loud. People are still sleeping. Um, as you can see, it's a light blue <coughs> color. You know, it's nothing too, uh, too magnanimous. Easy to cover. I did metal bristle brush, brush it. Um, yesterday and then I washed it down with of course you know soap and water I used Dawn just because I'm particular uh not that I think it makes really any difference when you're washing outdoor furniture but you know that just happens to be what I have <coughs> excuse me allergies are really bad this year um so then I'm gonna go ahead and put two coats on the front side here because I've already done two coats underneath of the ivory. Um, so then what we will do is finish that up. You will need a third coat, but your third coat is going to be your touch up coat because there'll be little pieces if you can't see it quite on the bottom there. You see that little bit of blue there? I missed that. So on the third coat, I'll start looking for that and make sure I'm covering that so that it's all done properly. And then I think I might, if I have it in my cabinet, use the sealer because this is going to sit outdoors at all, all the time. So I'll see you back here after I get the two coats on the front and then we'll move on to the, hopefully the paint pens. Um, otherwise it would be the sealer if I have that in my cabinet, but I'm not going out of my way. This is, uh, this is literally just yard, art. Nobody sits on it. Um, it has a planter that sits on it all year. So I'm not really that worried about it. But it's definitely a change. Um, it will look newer. Um, so let's see what we end up with. They do have a bead in them. I'm sorry, I have to sit on something. That's why I have to bring this inside. So we're going to start on the corner here, get our paint out. Oop, there it is. I find that I have to go a bit slow because of the uh, texture, but then it's fine. Oh, that actually does real nice. I mean, I wouldn't say it's detailed or nothing, but I have the smaller ones as well. These are um, the Jumbo. So they cover a larger area. And then you can get extra fine and medium. 
um, tips, same thing. Oh, that actually is not too bad. What do we think? For people that can't paint, like myself, um, this is actually a nice little alternative. I'm sure some of you have all, uh, out there have already tried these things. They are fantastic. Should be interesting to see how they hold up in weather. Um, it doesn't really specify just for indoor or outdoor. So I imagine we'll have a little cracking just because, well, weather's weather. But hopefully not too much and it kind of holds up. So we'll have to check that out. But so far so good. They're actually quite easy to use, I must admit. Um, not sure exactly how I'm gonna do these flowers. You know, I'm just trying to color in the flower itself. Not sure what the center will be yet. Brown? No, maybe yellow. Yeah, we'll try yellow in this one. But anyway, that's how this one works. It's just coloring, basically. Permanent adult coloring. That's what it is. That's my speed, man. My speed. Maybe it's yours too. All right. So far, so good. So here's what I've done so far. I decided to make my flowers um, with some um, uneven edging and I'm gonna put a different color on the edge there. And then I, um, I filled in my leaves. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So far, so good. They're easy to use. Again, they're called Monte, Mont, Marte. I'm sorry. I always, I, I keep wanting to say Monte, but it's Mont Marte. And they're from Menards, but you can get uh, the acrylic pens online. You can get them at um, local hardware stores, but so much easier if you're like me and do not paint well. I'll, I'll show you my final product when I'm done. All right. I also want to note that these markers are very low odor. Um, I'm doing this inside, although I have my back door open. Um, I think something where you have a, a decent ventilation, you're more than more than adequate. Um, I don't even smell the markers, but my nose is a little stuffed up from allergies, but um, not bad, not bad. Hey guys, so I just want to show you that I am all done. Um, I got it all on. It's not perfect or nothing, but I think it looks pretty good. Soft, very summery, right? I decided not to put anything on the ends of the flowers. I kind of liked them the way they were, so I left them. Because why not, right? So it's like two yellows, two beach blue, and two, tea, uh, two red. You know, I'm not sure what they actually call this. Maybe sky blue? Um, the name's on the back of the package. Um, I did put a picture of it in, in, the, in the video so you knew what I got. So you can find something maybe an equivalent. And then we're going to test this now outside and see how it does. Hopefully not too bad. I, I'm expecting a little cracking just because um, it doesn't specify indoor or outdoor. So I guess we'll find out and then I'll know if I need to put a sealer on. Okay. All right. That's how